Hello and welcome back, Control Stick Crew. It's me, uh, well, Control Stick, uh, for another box opening adventure. Uh, we've got, this time we've got 2024 Fleer Ultra Wolverine. Now these are a thick 80 point card, as you will see. Um, so we'll get to that soon. I did, this is later than I wanted to, but I got it a little later than I, well, I'm opening it later than I wanted to because... I got it later. Anyway, uh, I want to appreciate everybody who has subscribed to the channel. We're up to like 320 subscribers. That's awesome. Reminder, we'll be doing a giveaway at 500. Um, just as an appreciation, guys, I appreciate you going on this journey with me. Um, wanted to go through some mailbag real quick. I got a couple sketches. Um, both of these are from um, the... Um, Finding Unicorn, this is from Infinity, and this is from, um, or this is from Infinity Saga, um, but from Finding Unicorn, the company, and this is from the, um, Finding Unicorn Avengers, um, set, Ron Tan and Art of Jane, um, this was packed, pulled this one, I kind of won on a whatnot, uh, sort of raffle thing, um, but very sick, in my opinion. I like both of them. I don't collect them. However, I can appreciate the beauty. And also got this. Pulled it out of a uh, 20... Um, what was it? 20, 2020 Marvel Masterpieces. Just a, a sick uh, sick rogue card, in my opinion. So I was, was very stoked to have got the chance to get that. Uh, I did make a short, which about... Two people saw, um, <laughs> but and if you didn't and weren't aware, I am apparently now jumping on the YouTuber bandwagon and selling on whatnot. Um, I am Control Stick on whatnot. I'll link a link. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. If you've never um, been on whatnot and like to just hop on in and say hey, or if you're a long, you know, or if you're a long time whatnot or whatever, pop in and say hey. Um, and uh, we'll be selling um, stuff that I pull that I don't PC, uh, as well as um, I've got boxes of uh, Flare Ultra Wolverine. We could do you know different breaks. I've also got boxes of Flare that I'm selling basically. Um, and this and I'm doing this at the same time. It seems like everybody else is selling on whatnot. But um, the hobby has become expensive for me personally, <laughs> and so trying to um, scratch the itch of, of ripping boxes. And hopefully I can rip more boxes for you guys um, because of this. So that's that's my whole goal here, guys. Um, but if you want to check it out, uh, again, I'm on Whatnot, the app. Uh, my name is Control Stick. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, guys, now all that's over with. You, I know what you're waiting for. Not this. Not, not ready for that. You want trivia. So I was challenged by someone uh, in the community that said, uh, you know what? control stick maybe you ought to actually have real trivia questions and I thought fine and I said tell me what, what's the trivia question and uh, the question was who replaced Thing when he was temporarily cured of his um, you know rockness um, so answer will be at the end of the video however if you thought that was the only trivia question let's get to the real trivia question and that question is cool ranch or nacho cheese and of course I'm talking about Doritos Cool Ranch Doritos or nacho cheese Doritos as all of my trivia questions there's only one correct answer and I'll let you know at the end Anywho, let's get to it guys so as I said these are on 80 point um, stocks so they're very they're thick cards if you open Fleer Ultra Avengers here, let me adjust this a little bit for y'all um, if you open Clear Ultra Avengers from last year, it is the same size. And it's heavy. Uh, I got a case in and it was 23 pounds <laughs> for the full case of them. Um, but this is my personal box that I ordered from a, a different place. Um, so there's lots of numbers to look for. I'm not even going to go through all of the parallels and... Um, but I'll, I'll cover the ones as we open them here, because there are so many, guys. And I did find that uh, sometimes opening these packs are hard, so I've got scissors just in case. 
All right, guys. So Deadpool's back, being back in cards is a big deal. Um, and here he is. He hasn't been in for a while. Now you'll notice Wolverine is obviously prominently featured in the set, and we'll see de several different types of Wolverines. We'll see uh, Logan, we'll see James Hallett, we see all the different names and things that he's gone by over the years. In fact, there's a whole aliases subset uh, where the, here we go, just like right on cue. Apparently Black Dragon was an alias that he has gone by in the past, and there he is. Now the hit spot is the fourth card generally, so I will try to hold that for last. Lady Deathstrike, and then this should be a green, and it is, it's green affiliations. New Avengers, and that's Iron Man, Luke Cage, Wolverine, Captain America, and Spider-Woman. So very cool. So green is our parallel color here that you should get one per pack. And then there's going to be a lot of medallions, except we hit, oh nice, I love the Ultra Abilities, Emma Frost. As you guys know, I have kind of decided to um, collect some Emma Frost. I did, I definitely for sure in the annual this year, so I am happy with that. Ultra Abilities, guys. Uh, that's number 14 out of 31. And I want to say there are Ultra Abilities that are... No, I don't think they're short print. Okay, very cool. Just wanted to look on the checklist real quick. Well, anyways, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's try some organization here. So tell me, guys, in the comments, who are you looking for in the set? Other than, obviously, Wolverine, uh, as he is in every pack. Um, I know we've got a lot of Wolverine PC collectors out there. Um, there's a pop culture cards I have seen. Carnage is in. That's, you know, that's who I would kind of chase in this set. Um, I don't have any yet, but that, and there's also numbered versions that are autographed, so I will be excited to try to get those and chase those from the set for sure. As well as any, as well as any characters that I think are pretty cool. There's Viper. So the foiling changes in the background, the color, uh, based on the rarity. So the silver is the base, and as I showed you, the green, well, it doesn't have the, the foiling there, but the, uh, the green parallels, which I will show you, has the green claw marks, and then there's several different colors from there. There's Juggernaut, and he's all veined out. And there's our Snowbird base. There's our green, and that's the claw marks I was talking about. Austin Powers and Mojo. Our team affiliations. And this team is the X-Men. That's Wolverine, Psylocke, Banshee, Ford, Storm, Gambit, and Jubilee. Classic cover there. And our hit. Boom, and that's our pop culture I was talking about. So it's kind of Andy Warhol-esque. Um, Thanos. So this is not numbered, or, well, it's number nine, but it's not serial numbered or autographed, but still very cool. Um, I'm liking the pop culture. There's actually four versions of each character. So awesome. Well, it wasn't a carnage, but I will not complain about Thanos. Okay, guys. What do we have here? Banshee. Jubilee. And I do have a problem with this. Looks like she's she almost boom booms powers for some reason. So that's my issue with that. I don't know. I've got weird hang-ups with stuff like that. <laughs> There's, um, that's Ogun versus o uh, Wolverine in the Greatest Battles subset here. And who else do we have here? Sebastian Shaw on the base. Our green is X-23. And there's a, uh, this is the X-23 subset. I think there's like 20 cards. Uh, this is a pretty cool one of that. And then our hit spot is a medallion. Hey, there's, our, there's my boy Colossus. I will definitely take that. Very sweet, very sweet. Um, and there's different tiers of the medallions. You've got numbered, uh, as well as this is just the base medallion. Um, so you've got medallions, um, gold medallions out of 200, platinum out of 100, ruby red out of 50, sapphire blue out of 25, emerald green out of 10, and opal blacks out of 1. Let's get an opal black today, guys. That's what I want to see. 
Uh, I will better sleeve a few of these out, but I will go over the hits after after I get through the box here. Let me know what you guys have hit out of these if you've opened your own. Uh, they do have blasters um, currently only through Upper Deck. I've not seen them in the wild. Um, don't know that I'll order any from Upper Deck, but once I see them in the wild, I will open some for you guys and let you know what I think about them. Um, from what I've seen, they're pretty cool. They actually have a yellow parallel um, that is specific to the blasters and um, numbered out of 90. And so that's, that's actually a pretty big deal for blasters in general. Now they are $35, so that's a little hard to swallow. Um, for the blasters, and I think you get three packs. Oh, we got something thin there. Um, Melita Garner base. Omega Red. Professor X. I do dig the art on this set. It's uh, all the base cards are original art, so that it always helps. Hey, there we go. There's a Wolverine. This actually connects to another card. I think it's Silver Samurai, although they're not sequential, they're not numbered together, but the artist, I, I saw the two of them together, um, so this actually connects, I believe it's Silver Samurai. And our hit, oh, we got a numbered, Thunderbird, baby, 46 out of 78, that's the X-Century. So, the thing with the X-Century and the numbering system is a little different, um, let me pull it up here. So they're actually the the numbering system is um, it goes down in descending order based on the card number. So this is number seventy eight, um, and so it actually goes to um, you know actually goes to seventy eight. So it's kind of a different way to do these cards. Um, something that we're not used to seeing. I think the um, purely periodic, I believe, from the metal uh, was done like this. So, um, but I'm not used to opening anything like that. And I find it fascinating that we have different uh, serial numbers based on the card number. So, very cool. Thunderbird. I, I don't see you don't see a lot of Thunderbird cards. So, definitely happy about that. And what else did we get here? Uh, we got another greatest battle with Omega Red and Wolverine there. Right, let's keep going. The struggle bus is real in some of these packs. Soldier Base and X-23, men of the, many, one of the many X-23s, Magneto in the white, and our green is a Greatest Battle, and that's Red Skull in the Captain America uniform, fighting Wolverine, and our hit spot is a medallion, hey, Wolverine medallion, I like it. That's pretty sweet. And then we've got our alias, Wolvermean. Uh, you know, my kids might have probably called me Wolvermean at some point. But, you know, maybe they didn't Wolvermean it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, guys. Pack number six out of 12. So as far as the thick cardstock goes, I am not a huge fan of it. I know a lot of people are. Um, they're heavyweight to them. Kind of feels good in the hand, but I don't know. I'm just kind of a um, traditionalist, I guess, when it comes to card size. There's Gorgon. And Greatest Battle, of course. We can't have a battle without uh, Sabretooth hugging Wolverine and Wolverine stabbing him for it. See, so that's what happens when um, Sabretooth comes in for a hug. Wolverine turns into the bad guy and stabs him in the leg. Gosh. 
think we need hashtag um, hashtag save Sabretooth. He's just um, misunderstood. Hope Summers on the base. Our green is another X23 from the X23 subset. And in our hit spot, another medallion Sasquatch of the Alpha Flight Squad. The uh, medallions, I think you get like four to six per box. So um, they're actually pretty pretty common to see. Um, you know, if that's something that you're chasing, that's definitely a doable chase. Uh, if you're wanting to complete that, say, in a binder set or something. The other one in two hobby packs. So yeah, you put maybe up to six um, per box. So there's Jean Grey. That's the X-Force outfit on Deadpool. Very cool. Uh, Alright, let's go back here. Our Storm. Oh, that's nice art on Storm. The lightning is cool. Our green. Oh, Nick Fury Jr. Alright. Somebody have to tell me who Nick Fury Jr. is versus Nick Fury because I'm not sure. Hey again, Gumboot, Monami, very nice medallion, and our team affiliations. I like Wolverine in the gray suit. Wolverine, Wolfsbane, Warpath, and X-23. So you can put these in standard sleeves, um, penny sleeves. You do need a 100 point top loader for them. Now the penny sleeves, you can get 100 point penny sleeves that are a little big for them. Um, I found cutting the corner um, with, you know, like your opener or your knife or whatever, even your finger, sometimes you can pop the corner. It makes it a lot easier to get them in. You're gonna see a lot of corners are bent on these already coming out of the box. That's just the unfortunate part of being a thick cardstock, and that's kind of one of the reasons that I don't like them. But anyway, that's personal preference. If you're a Wolverine fan, this set is for you, though. I mean, there's there's no doubt about it. Now, I had a thought before I started opening this. My thought is Wolverine is, you know, arguably number two, maybe number one with Spider-Man as far as value. There's Blade on the base. With all of these Wolverine cards. Um, in this set, is that going to drive down the cost of Wolverine because he's literally on like 50 cards in this set? Or is Wolverine going to still demand a premium in the, in the market? So that, that was a question I wondered about. And then is, are your pure Wolverine collectors going to want, let's say, a Weapon X like this? Or are they just going to want ones that say Wolverine or just ones that say Logan? Um, it's just something I was curious about and was thinking about before I got on here. Here's another Alias, Knucklehead. Now, is that the same font that the TV show Alias used? It seems familiar. Maybe somebody remembers that show, uh, Alias. Let me know in the comments, guys. And our hit. Oh, hey, look at that. That's not our normal um, foiling there. That's our, that's our medallion, and it's out of 200, so it's our gold medallion. 111 out of 200. Very nice. I like the gold. The gold looks sweet, and you can see it compared to the normal. Um, it's really shiny. And Silver Samurai, so I'll take it. <coughs> Alright, guys, so looking for... What, one more numbered? Oh, I bet we get one numbered blue, as I guess. But we'll see. I'll definitely take a one out of one, I won't complain. But we won't get another numbered medallion in, but it's a numbered base. Based on what I've seen. And if I'm wrong, I'll be pleasantly surprised. X-23. Hey, there's Venomized X-23. Pretty cool. Old man Logan, wearing his duster. 
Our green is the Mutate 9601. Ooh, there's our blue right on cue. It's like I knew it was coming. I didn't, but <laughs> uh, alias is Mutant Menace, and this should be out of 181. 120 out of 181, and then Old Man Logan on the medallion. The Mutant Menace. So this is our our blue out of the box. The Mutant Menace. I imagine he's probably been called worse than what we have on the cards. Wolverine is, is probably not the worst thing he's been called over the years. <laughs> but it wouldn't be fit for a card. We've got Rogue. Very nice Rogue in this set. Actually, there's two. So the, I like the medallion as well. For all you Rogue fans. Hey, there we go. Uh, this one as well. Rogue and Rogue. Let's see if we can get the medallion. Make it a three-peat for this pack. We'll go ahead and go straight to the medallion spot if there's a medallion and see if we get her. We don't. We got Quicksilver. That's still cool. Quicksilver on silver. It's a color match, right? Alright, a little sticking there. Magneto. Be curious to see... The fact that a couple of these have stuck, I'm be curious to see down the line if there's bricking. Maybe it's just me. And there's another alias, Death, in the green. All right, guys, we have two packs left. Oh, we've got another X-Century card in there. Kind of cheated and looked. There's Wolverine base. Oh, that's terrible. Wow, I'm sure you guys can see that. I can feel it. Um, that's not good. Quality assurance, guys. Come on. Look at that. Ugh. And another alias. Jim Logan. And I'm guessing that's blood on his, blood on his suit, but uh, it's a little off-colored there. Let's see what I... Oh, look at that. X-23. Ooh, that is sick. Sorry, it was going to side out. I would I would have would have saved it. I do like the X Century. As you know, I'm a sucker for the acetate cards. There's North Star, another member of Alpha Flight, and Bishop with a sword. This X23 is nice. I'm definitely a fan. Now these cards are acetate and then they've got um, the cardboard or the card laid on top and glued to it so they're um, they're pretty cool so it's a kind of a 3d well it is 3d effect so very nice all right last pack now guys we're we gonna have last pack magic or last pack tragic i think we probably hit all of our hits so it's probably going to be a medallion pack i have been proven wrong before though Okay, so we've got a Quicksilver. Whoops. Red Skull Base. Got some sticking there. Hey, another X-23. I think there's, like I said, I think there's 20 of those. Let's just go to the hit there. Oh, Family Genealogy, Thomas Logan. Okay. Now these are cool as well. It's kind of meant to um, resemble a family tree. And as you can see, we've got... Um, the wood look to it it's kind of a uh, there's dazzler base it's kind of a glue or a something it's not sticky Ooh, cassandra nova the female professor x she's a handsome woman um but these kind of show a family tree on the back you've got logan thomas logan connected how these all work i do not know maybe once you get the full set the uh family tree becomes more understandable but these feel cool in the hand uh, I do like these genealogy 
just for the feel of them um, and the look, honestly. Um, now, I don't know the, all, all the characters like Thomas Logan. I'm sure somebody in the comments does. Um, but, guys, let's go over the hits real quick. Of course, we got a big pile of base. Uh, we got our numbered out of 181. It was number 120 out of 181, and that's the alias the Mutant Menace. We just pulled this Family Genealogy, Thomas Logan. Our X Century X23. Uh, we've got our Ultra Abilities, which I like a lot. Emma Frost. Our Pop Culture. Thanos, several greens, and then we got our medallions, our Quicksilver, Old Man Logan, Gambit, Sasquatch, and the boy himself, Wolverine, and the Man of the Hour. Got our numbered gold out of 200. It was 111 out of 200. And my favorite, again, my favorite type of card is the X Century. And he is Thunderbird, 46 out of 78. So very cool. Um, I am excited for this, and I, I want more of these because I do. That's my favorite insert. So guys, let me know what you think. All in all, um, thick card stock is eh for me. Um, but and you know, it, if you're a Wolverine fan, this is that for sure your set. There are also plenty of other characters to chase. Um, so if you're not a PC collector of Wolverine, you definitely can find something. Um, to go after and the inserts like I said are just cool um, you know the ultra abilities are we've seen we saw those in uh, Midnight Suns and some other sets um, and then the pop culture I don't know that we've seen before but I do like it and the fact that there's four different um, kind of the Andy Warhol style um, is very cool so yeah lots of cool inserts so all in all I'm happy with the box um, you know always could get you my PC character, uh, but that's not how it works, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I know you guys don't really, you're not really here for the cards, you're here for the trivia. So we'll go ahead and answer those real, those trivia questions real quick. Um, so who replaced Thing when he was temporarily cured of being a rock monster or whatever he was? And that's She-Hulk. You may have seen She-Hulk in um, Fantastic Four outfit before um, because she was briefly part of the team. And then, now on to the real trivia question, guys. It, uh, it is, of course, Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese. And we're talking about Doritos. And if you said Nacho Cheese, you are wrong. Because it's because they're okay. But Cool Ranch is way better. Anyways, guys, I've been Control Stick. And until next time, I'm going dark.